Joining me this morning, State Senator Royce West, Democrat, candidate for U.S. Senate. Thank you for joining me, Senator West. Good to see you again. My pleasure. After almost 28 years as a Texas state senator, what has made you decide to run for the U.S. Senate? Well, I mean, because uh, I've done the work to be ready, and I think this is the time. You know, I'm tired of letting victim of history. It's time to make history, and we have the opportunity to do that here in the state of Texas. You've got uh, two people to get through to reach that goal. Uh, first, your primary opponent, M.J. Hager. Uh, what is it that sets you apart from her as you have to win this part of the primary before you can go on to the next step? What is it that sets you apart from her and makes you better? I think that uh, when you look at my experience, my, my demonstrated track record of bringing people together, my uh, demonstrated track record of being a true Democrat, and the references that I have, you begin to look at right there in Harris County. Uh, I have the support of Mayor Sylvester Turner, uh, yeah, Commissioner Rodney Ellis, uh, Congressman Al Green, Congresswoman Sylvia, uh, Sylvia Garcia, and most of the Democrats in Harris County and Fort Bend County are supporting me for this particular position, as well as a whole host of city council persons right there in Harris County. Mm -hmm. I've been able to pull together coalitions based on interests, and I am the one that can pull together the Democratic Party in the fall, get the energy that we need in order to make certain that we win in November. Speaking of November, uh, assuming you could get through the primary hurdle and be able to run against Senator Cornyn, what is it you've seen that he's done that you would not do and what makes you a better person to sit in that office for the state of Texas? I think that most Democrats agree that, uh, yes, we want to make sure we have the Obamacare, Obamacare the Affordable Care Act. Uh, this senator has lost touch with Texans. We recognize that uh, we, Texas is number, number one in this country in terms of number uninsured. But Corning has voted against the Affordable Health Care Act for at least 10 to 15 times. He's right there with Donald Trump wanting to see that it be repealed or the Supreme Court declares it unconstitutional with no fix in place. And so we, we'd have about 20 million people here in this country without health care insurance. And that would just exacerbate the issues concerning COVID that we're currently in. Partisanship, extreme partisanship, seems to be one of the biggest problems causing a lot of gridlock of what's going on in Washington, D.C. these days. What is it about your political history that would indicate that you'd be able to be something different than that going to Washington? I think that you kind of you, you look at what a person's done in the past and gives you a good idea what they're going to do in the future. And when you see that I've basically been in the minority party ever since Aunt Richards uh, left office, and I've still been able to get things done by reaching across the aisle and finding consensus. I'll do the same thing in the United States Senate. It's about the issues, and it's about finding consensus in order to come up with solutions. I'll do that as your United States Senate. Look at my past, and you'll see that I've been able to press body cameras, uh, racial profiling, dash cameras, a whole host of other issues because I've been able to get bipartisan support in both the Senate, the House, and also working with the governor of the state of Texas. How dangerous is it, uh, the gridlock bipartisanship that we see now, the gridlock partisanship that we see in D.C.? Uh, how dangerous is that for our country, do you think? Well, you know, uh, it is dangerous because there, there are issues that we must, we must underscore, must deal with in this country. And everyone's not going to get 100% of what they want. We've got to make certain that we make the incremental changes, uh, step, take incremental steps, I should say, in order to find solutions. And then those things that we can't, uh, can't agree on, put them to the side. Let's move forward with those things that we can agree on in order to get to the point where we can resolve the problems. There are problems with our deficit. Obviously, there's problems with uh, police reform here in this country. Uh, there's problems with COVID. Just to name a few things that we've got to deal with in this country. Early voting uh, underway now, uh, election on the 14th. Uh, you get in the elevator for a short 20 to 30 second ride. What's your close the deal speech for that undecided voter who steps in the elevator with you? Well, I'm going to start, I'm going to end as I started off. If you, if Democrats are tired of being a victim of history and keep, and we continuously say that this is the one, this is the one, this is the one, I'm telling you, this is the one. We need to quit being victims of history. And then making, and then make certain we become, uh, we become successful in terms of what we do, and we can do that by making certain we pull together the various.
coalitions that are necessary. African Americans, Latinos, young people, people are sick and tired of what's going on in this country, specifically George Floyd. You look at what happened to George Floyd. People across the world, George Floyd never got up that morning. Uh, oh, oh, don't get off the elevator yet. George Floyd didn't wake up that morning thinking that he would die. It would change the world. And that's exactly what he's doing. Now it's going to be up to us to harness the energy. Don't get off the elevator yet. In order to make certain that we take that energy, we focus it towards voting in order to make certain we elect people or persons that will help with that change. I'm that person because I have a track record of it. All right, Senator West, you made me miss my floor, but I'll, I'll take it anyway. <laughs> thank you, Senator. I appreciate it so much. Good luck in the campaign. Stay safe. Thank you very much. All right. Take thank care. you, sir. Mm -hmm.